If you are on a ketogenic diet, that means that you are not burning carbs, you are trying to burn fat. And a way to measure that is to measure your ketones. Now this is a device called the Ketometer, made by Mikey at goodlifelab.com, and it measures your ketones. This is everything it comes with. This is the meter itself. You have a battery, um, the cable to charge the battery, and the cable to connect the battery to the unit. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your battery pack out of the container. You're going to either plug it into your computer to charge, or you can plug it into a wall charger like this. Okay, once your battery is charged, you will put the black USB cable in here. Use the little Velcro strips to put it in the case. Take this cable and plug it in. You will see once you plug it in that the Kato meter is warming up and you want to let it warm up for 120 seconds and leave the case open while it's warming up. Okay, once it's done, you will have a base reading there and you will shut the case. The great thing about this meter is on the back, it tells you the reading that you're looking for. You can see the numbers between two and four are a high carb diet, between four and five are a low carb diet, five through seven is ketosis, and seven through nine is deep ketosis. So what you wanna do is you wanna blow into the straw and you wanna do a long, shallow breath. Okay, so you'll see sometimes the numbers are moving and you just really wanna wait for it to get to the final result. So you can see my numbers are 5.7 about. So that means I am in ketosis. Because there's two of us using this meter, we wanna clear the sensor for the next person to use it. So I'm gonna keep this open for a few minutes just to clear it out. You can see the sensor number is going down um, quite rapidly. So that's just clearing out the air on the inside so that the next person can use it. Okay, and you can see his result is 5.94, almost a six. So I find that this battery stays charged for several days. It stayed charged for over a week for me, but don't forget to pull it out every once in a while and charge it up. Have fun.